controlled double rudder will open the cell and before the treatment of severe virus of the none of authors has nothing to disclose. Preoperative surgery planning is carried out. In this artificial bone model, we observe the gradual opening of the double osteotomy being performed. In this way, we can predict the outcome of the planned surgery. We present a patient with neglected severe bilateral round disease. Preoperative radiographs show the metaphyseal diaphyseal angle of approximately 45 degrees to the left and 35 degrees to the right. Surgery was performed staged, starting on the left side. We start with the pre-drilling visualizing in the lateral fluoroscopy, and then we insert the two proximal pins parallel to the medial physis in almost vertical direction. Then we place the two more distal pins in the tibia. We perform the fibular ostectomy, resecting a structural bone graft of about 2 cm in length. We perform a surgical approach in the same direction of the proximal pins, 2 cm distal to them. We perform the first osteotomy, initially with drill perforations and then with an osteotomy. The direction of the osteotomy is from medial to proximal and lateral towards to the lateral tibial spine. In this case, the deformity is very severe. The external fixator doesn't have enough angulation to be placed on the pins. If this occurs, the first osteotomy can be opened with a spreader, thereby reducing the deformity, allowing the external fixator to be placed. Then the filament bone graft is introduced. After this step, we place the SSR pin in the anterior plane, distal to the first osteotomy and 3 cm distal to it. We perform the second osteotomy from the medial to lateral, keeping the lateral cortical integral. We then use the L-shaped key and they open the second osteotomy about 1.5 cm. We compress the distractors as much as possible and the surgery is completed. We observe the patient in the immediate post-operative period, performing partial load with the aid of crutches. After 10 days post-operatively, we start the opening of the fixator with a quarter turn of the compression distraction unit every 6 hours. At this moment, the opening of the external fixator occurred without any accessory bars connected. When observed that the piece of the front was correct, we installed the accessory bar and connected it with the accessory pin and with the fixator proximal pins, locking the opening of the proximal osteotomy. If you observe the correction of the metaphysical of the front first, we block the distal osteotomy, connecting the bar to the accessory pin and the distal pins of the fixator. When we observe clinically and radiologically that the lower limb is aligned, we stop the distraction and wait for bone consolidation, as the drawing show. Here we can observe the sequential and gradual correction of the severe deformities of neglected blunt disease. After observing the correction of the left knee, the patient was underwent the same treatment on the contralateral side. We then observed the result obtained after the two sides were gradually corrected by the double osteotomy pre- and post-operatively of this patient with both sides already operated not simultaneously.